the dialogue had already begun. My start was not my own, but written into the middle of a story that's still being told. The one that began before memory can trace, when there was only space. I began with the parts and the roles laid out, the questions answered. Who, what for, and why? As though memorizing my identity would be enough to speak up when life put me to the test. It was not enough. Twenty-eight and a half years are not enough to answer yet. Because how do I fit myself into words that fill one sheet of paper? How do I condense myself into a sentence when the years expand and add upon my living definition? How do I convey in these minutes between us the things I am not yet? I don't. And you don't. Instead, we've learned to keep a stash of ready-made explanations. One for those who ask in passing by. Another for those who ask too many times. And the truth? That's saved for the one who will ask and then listen from the heart. And I wish I could give him something more than the truth. I wish I could weave him something beautiful, something intriguing, something worth sharing. Something, anything other than the truth. Which is, I don't know. And what's more, I know a little less each day. By the time I reach the middle, the years have watered the story down. And it has dissolved away like color because impermanence is the medium here. Diluted, I have tried to be clever. I have tried to be reckless. I have filled pages in a language not my own, so they might think this voice knows just where she came from. Knows who, what for, and why. Because silence was uncomfortable. Emptiness got too heavy, and it felt easier to keep speaking in a world already so full of noise. Simpler to not stand out. But it gets tiring sometimes. And eventually we all reach the end of the beginning. When I could no longer walk in these shoes, I walked out of myself. Somewhere between the one I started out to be and the one I'm turning out to be. And this is the middle. This is the arc. This is the hardest part 